I'm Emma Vosti and this is Sea Opportunity, a business series proudly presented by the City of Stonington. A series where each week I sit down with some of the masterminds behind Australia's brightest brands. Welcome back to Sea Opportunity, a business series proudly presented by the City of Stonington. My name's Emma Vosti. I've loved being your host for this business series. We've caught up with so many different business owners uh, in the city of Stonington from all different industries. And if you know the city of Stonington, you know that it is home to some of the most luxurious properties. And we've, we're talking about amazing properties. Well, we have to talk about White Fox. Marty Fox joins me from White Fox Real Estate, which is really shaken up the game, almost flipped it on its head when you came into the market in 2017. What made you kind of take the approach that you took and if people don't know White Fox, can you tell us what sets you guys apart? Yeah, I think um, when we started in 2017, it came from a pretty solid background running agency in the more traditional sense. Yeah. So I did have um, three other officers prior to White Fox with, with partners of the, uh, the older ilk <laughs> and they taught me some of their tricks of the trade. And the dream was to always, and I actually wrote down White Fox when I was 21. So I'm now turning 33. So I've had the idea for a, for a long time. Mm. And it was just about cutting my teeth, really understanding the people, the processes internally and externally, and to build an agency that actually brought a lot of personality and, and lifestyle to the transaction. And I felt that in the luxury sector of the market, that's what was lacking. So essentially I just looked at every business and they weren't doing anything necessarily wrong, but they weren't doing anything different. So they were all auction prone, all heavily involved in print media. They all were suit and tie and pretty rigid and there was just no social media, there was no video content. And I just thought to myself, how can, like a home is so emotional mm. and there's so much personality within these homes because they're people, it's their, their life. And if we did great social media, great video content, brought the personality of the agents and the house through that type of uh, platform, it would be successful. Mm. More private negotiations that are a little bit more intimate. Um, it just all worked. And I think the timing was right for it with obviously social media going through the roof and that actually now becoming just media. So I've always, well now I see social media as just, it's just media, it's not, not social. It's just it's, another media. It's just another media yeah. platform. So that was the, uh, the guts of it. The timing was right, the people were perfect. My age, you know, it was it was just it all really it was a beautiful recipe. Mm. If people haven't seen your ads, often you're scrolling and you see um, everyone's got colour photos, and then your first photo will always be in black and white. Just the, yeah. one of the examples of the point of difference. That's like, oh, hang on. Yeah. So going uh, on so here? the whole thing is is you, it's not that it's not one or two things. It's like a combination of maybe. 20 or 30 things that are just slightly different mm -hmm. that make, I believe, our property stand out or our staff stand out. So we're always looking that for that slight outlier. Mm -hmm. And you know, like the black and white photography, is like the social media, like the sold boards that go on a property after it's been sold. We write really creative copy. Who comes up with those? Are you going to take credit for them? No, no, like, no. That's, is that that's, a team effort? No, no, it's a team effort, but it, it is run by my business partner, Aidan Hathaway, okay. which is another business that was born out of the success of White Fox Real Estate. So he was, uh, well, he is a genius copywriter and creative mind. And we've probably delivered over 400 boards and not one's ever been the same. So. It's, uh, it's a big talking point. People love looking out for what the boards say and they're, they're cheeky, you know. Why can't you have fun in real estate? Why has that stigma been around? I think it's been around because if you think of real estate, it's, it, has, it, it is quite serious, mm. but there's also a lot of people that are in real estate that aren't actually that serious. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty low barrier to entry. As long as you can breathe and put a suit on, you tend to get a job, yeah. um, which also annoys me a little bit. I think that should actually make it harder to transact at that type of level, mm -hmm. um, but that's another discussion. Um, I just think, yeah, it was just one of those things that if we brought a bit of creativity to real estate, which there's so many assets to talk about, everything's so different, mm -hmm. it would be engaging. And we've proven that real estate can be really engaging. I love that. It's funny because um, a lot of the time in the real estate industry, you'll compare real estates to real estates. But when I think about White Fox, I more put you in a category like, I was speaking to um, 
Christian Klein from Mr. Miyagi the other day and they have a very cheeky marketing approach too or koala. I put you in the realm of other clever marketers um, as opposed to other agencies. Is that a compliment to you? Massive. I mean, I've always viewed um, White Fox as a creative agency that happens to deal in property. Yeah. Um, and we've proven that now with the creation of White Fox Marketing, whereby we are doing the same thing for other agents in other states. We're doing it for developers and building their branding for their development. We're doing it for an ice cream company tomorrow. And you know, it that all- That must have its perks. It's pretty good. And it's one of our <laughs> girls' birthdays tomorrow. So it's, it's the perfect timing. But it's, um, it all relates back to your tone, yeah. what your personality is, what your brand pillars are. Mm -hmm. And we've just been so consistent with our messaging mm -hmm. that when you do it for three years really well, it feels like you're 10 years in. Yeah. And that's, I think, the scary part where people are surprised that it's only been three and a bit years and what we've been able to do in that amount of time. But it stems back to consist, uh, consistency and it's the copy. Like, great copywriting can sort of set your business free. What are your business pillars? So we're very bold, polished, and matter of fact. So we're very bold in our communication, how we get about, who we hire, the properties that we take on. We take a lot of risk in sometimes some really outlandish type properties, but if they get moved, then you obviously get the accolade. Um, we're very bold, but on the same hand, we're also very polished. So we won't do anything without a lot of consideration. Um, and uh, we're very matter of fact. We're sometimes so blunt that it's, it's kind of refreshing because then you don't get pissed fired around by people. Yeah. So if people want to work with us, amazing. But if they don't, we don't try and push too hard. Like, it is what it is. If you want traditional, that's fine. You'll be successful. If you want something a little bit different, well, even better.